Hi there. So last time we talked about libertarian socialism, and I said this time I'd be talking about authoritarian socialism, and I am, and I'm going to try my darndest to give you all a fair shake, because by golly, you deserve it. This isn't going to be just a five-minute rant against Leninist, I promise. I am also still learning, and I don't think I'm alone in that. I think everyone who is interested in this is still learning, because it's, quite frankly, really complicated and confusing. I'm not saying you literally have to be Noam Chomsky to fully understand socialism, but I am implying it pretty heavily. So, here is authoritarian socialism as I understand it. Authoritarian and libertarian socialists seem to agree on the core points. Capitalism is inherently oppressive, it would be a great idea if it weren't around anymore, the workers should be in control of what they produce, and a classless, equal, and free society would also be pretty baller. What differs, as I see it, are our methods. Now, I mentioned in my Libertarian and Socialism in 5 Minutes video that the biggest problem with post-revolution societies is that they are fairly hard to defend against the people who don't want you to be a post-revolutionary society anymore. So, authoritarian socialists, who, for these purposes, I might also call Marxist-Leninist, believe that the current crusty old bourgeois state must be replaced with a shiny new socialist state. One of the main duties of the new socialist state is to defend itself from imperialism and defeat icky things like reactionaries and fascists and bearers, oh my. And all the state power makes the anarchists go, hey, you guys are being, like, really aggressive? I just came out here to have a good revolution, and honestly, I'm feeling so attacked right now. And the Marxist-Leninists are like, yeah, good luck with your utopia. It's suddenly just gonna come out of nowhere and be perfect. At least they were, we're getting things done, okay? And then they do get things done, like taking control of the means of production, enforcing a single party system, representing the workers that work in the means of production, which they took over with the party, which they just made the only one. And the anarchists are like, wait, the very core of socialism is that the means of production should belong to the workers, man. We don't like you taking the means of production away from the workers. And the Marxist Leninists are like, we're just, you know, holding it for them. We're basically the workers. I mean, it's not like they're going to do it themselves. It's a tough job. Come on. And the anarchists are like, you know, I don't particularly care for you. And the party leaders are like, hey, how about you shut up, you edgy liberals? And sometimes they kill them. Sorry, I said this wasn't going to be a rant. Um, so also, there's this thing called the dictatorship of the proletariat, which sounds like, oh my god, dictatorship, but it's actually like the opposite of that. Anarchists believe it means direct democracy, real democracy of the people, where the people rule, thus the dictatorship, the ruling part. It's, it's, dictatorship of the proletariat is really a phrase that needs a press secretary all to its own, because its public image is worse than, uh, I don't know, insert celebrity that would make sense here. Authoritarian socialists believe it means democracy for the working class, and only the working class, so the bourgeoisie, the ruling classes, nah, you don't get political freedoms. You don't get that. No. No soup for you. That's a reference to a thing that I myself have not even watched. Anyway, just the people who work get political freedoms. You do what your workers say. And the anarchist, which, okay, let's be honest, anarchist, singular, aka me, in this scenario, failing to understand the complexities of this particular branch of Marxism is like, but why would there even be a ruling class? Wouldn't socialism do away with that? Isn't that like the whole point? And the Leninists are like, okay, let's be honest, it, just the hypothetical straw man of a Leninist that exists in my head is like, yeah, but it's not gonna happen immediately. Like, you're gonna have to fight for it at least, I don't know, 50 years for it to, you know, really be achieved. And I'm like, damn. And they're like, yeah, I know, right? Oh, and also, there are these things called Trotskyists, and everyone makes fun of them for selling newspapers all the time. Trotskyists are different from other Leninists, but we'll talk about that at a time that is not now. So, I worked on this one for about two weeks, because I wanted to make sure to get a really good grasp on Leninism, and then, of course, distill that grasp into a five-minute chunk of mostly memes. Even though I consider myself an anarcho-communist, I'm not really too opposed to Leninists, and that's in part because, I don't know, maybe they're right. Maybe I just haven't read the right things the right amount of times and understood them the right way. I think 
whatever side you fall on, both libertarian and authoritarian socialist writers have contributed a lot of valuable discourse, for lack of a better term. God. And it would be in your interest to read both. Anyway, thanks for watching. The support for this channel has been overwhelming, so thank you for that as well. And let me ask you one more thing. I've gotten recommendations for an episode on Trotskyist as opposed to MLs and on social democracy, so which one would you guys like to see next? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, see you next time.